38 to about 32 degrees. Here's our storm tracker radar, and you can see that we do see snow trying to expand, certainly aloft, north of 64 now. Is it hitting the ground down there? Uh, probably not just yet. We've got some dry air to overcome briefly, but you can see that that is all making steady progress southwest to northeast, and we still expect it in here between about uh, 6 to 7 in the morning crossing the beltway. Big storm, as you know, it has had an impact for uh, Nebraska, for Kansas, for Oklahoma, for St. Louis. It's pushing into Cincinnati now, and the leading edge of that has all turned over to snow, and that's what we expect to see in our area as early as 6 o'clock, again, southwest to northeast. 8 a.m., you can see that the blue showing all the snow that's around our area, and this will continue for a few hours. Watch this, the pink, and our model brings that in uh, right about 11 o'clock. Now, this did update just a little while ago, and it holds the snow in just a little bit longer, so maybe that changeover is closer to the noon hour, but this is where we start to see the sleet coming in, the little ice pellets that tick on your window. Uh, at 2 o'clock, D.C. looks like it'll be over to rain. We still have a bit of snow in northeastern Maryland, but all of this may be icing, and sleet and freezing rain may begin to accumulate. A quarter inch of ice could be a problem for many areas as as we work our way through the uh, early part of the afternoon. Eventually, it's all rain, especially by the time of the evening rush hour, but there will be pockets where there is still lingering freezing rain. There always is, and that's where we worry about accumulation on trees and limbs that could present some power outages and certainly some uh, tricky travel in those areas. Here's our 10 o'clock future cast. It's mostly rain, and by the time we get to Thursday morning at 7 a.m., it is out of here. If you haven't seen this before, generally we're going for a three to five inch snowfall amount, especially through the metro metro area could be closer to the three inch amount if the changeover happens sooner five inch amount if that changeover happens later. We think the heaviest snow, five to eight inches out here where there will always also be a problem with ice in the afternoon. Maybe you get a quarter inch out there, one to three inches south and east for southern Maryland. Comparing models, that's what we're putting out there. Uh, yesterday, this model was very aggressive with snow. It did come down today, but this is still a pretty significant snow, the American model. And the last thing I'll show you here is the European model. Uh, it's been sticking with uh, a, a less impactful snow part of the uh, storm, but uh, still can see the ice in the afternoon. And this is two, two and a half to about six inches around the area. So we feel pretty uh, good that those numbers are going to be what we end up getting, but we know it's going to be a messy day regardless. And Thursday, we start to melt it off, 49 degrees. Friday, we continue the melting. We do have rain on Saturday with a temperature of 44. We could see the rain linger into the first part of Sunday, but I think most of the day Sunday is going to be milder and eventually pretty dry at 64 degrees. Monday, it's sunny. Tuesday, we have another chance of a rain-snow mix that we have to keep an eye on with a temperature of 47 on Tuesday. We'll be watching that one closely, and you can continue to monitor that as well as all the developments as we work our way hour by hour through a tricky Wednesday around here that could really be problematic on the roads by downloading the Fox 5 weather app. Sean, back to you.